Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you really easy and step by step how to make this double brick stitch Christmas 3D ribbon earrings. I'm showing them step by step so even if you're not familiar with the double brick stitch you will be able to make them. Check description for a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Subscribe with the bell if you still haven't, also like, share and comment and in this way you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 on seed beads. I'm also using two 80 beads. You could go without them, but I prefer to attach my earring findings to these beads. You could attach them only with seed beads if you don't have atos. And this is Nymon Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 10 or 12. The smaller sizes are easier to work with. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up four of those beautiful golden beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I'm leaving here a small tail that I'll use later to finish my work with. Okay, and I go like this back in circle through the first two of those four beads and I'm pulling then I'm going backwards through these two golden beads I take two goldens and I go back in circle through these two you see I have something like a loop between the previous two and this one. I'm forming in this way cute columns of beads. Then I take two more. I go back like this. And then through these two. Okay guys, and in my next step, I'm going through the following two beads. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue my work by picking up two red and two golden beads. And let me turn to see to what I have here. I have thread bridges between my beads and I'm exiting out of the second golden counting from here. And because in my next row I will make increasing brick stitch, which means that my beads will be more than in the previous row. I'm going under the first thread bridge that I have here. If you're not familiar with it, don't worry because I'm showing it step by step and you will be able to make it. Okay, I go under the first thread bridge that I have. And after that, I go through the two beads that are closer to the center, which in this case are the red beads. Okay, and I have this. And in my next step, guys, I'm taking two red beads. With the double brick stitch, only the first step is with four beads, then we continue two by two. And then as I take them, I go under the next thread bridge and then I go back through the same two beads okay and I have this then I take two more beads I go under the next thread bridge And I go through these two red ones. Okay. 
then again you see in this row i should have five columns of two bits and in the previous one i have four columns of two bits and i'm increasing and how i do this i'm here out of thread bridges but for the last column i'm going to use the same thread bridge that i've been through with the previous two red beads okay and i go like this and after that i go through these two golden beads Then I'm going to be making another increasing row with two goldens and two reds. And I'm going here under the first thread bridge because if you remember when I decrease I go through the first thread bridge. And when I decrease I should go through the second thread bridge but I'll show you this when we reach the center of our work. Okay, for now we are only increasing and going under the first thread bridge. Then I need two red beads and I'm going under the next thread bridge. And go through these two. Then I'm taking another two. There is another thread bridge here that I'm using. Then another two. And uh, here I'm out of thread bridges, but if you remember at my last step, I used the same thread bridge to add two more beads. Okay. Now you see uh, what I have here, golden, three reds and golden, then golden. Now you see what I have here, a golden column, three red columns, a golden column. In the next row I have a golden column, four red columns and a golden column. Now I will have a golden column, five red columns and a golden column. I start again with golden, two goldens and two reds. I go under the first thread bridge. And then I will add four more red columns and one golden. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. And here I am guys where I'm adding my last column from this row. And I have a golden column, five red columns and a golden column. And I will continue the same way. Starting with two goldens and one red and going under the first thread bridge. I will continue this until I have I will continue this until I have a golden column, eight red columns and a golden column, and then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. So now the row is with six reds in the middle, then seven reds in the middle, and eight reds in the middle, and meet me. Okay guys, and when I continue beading, this is what I have. I have a column with two golden beads then eight red beads and a column with two goldens. Okay, then I take four golden beads. And as I'm exiting from this golden, I go again under the first thread bridge. And why I take four goldens? Because this row will consist of only golden beads. In my previous row, I have 10 columns in total, which are one golden, eight red and one golden and this row will consist of 11 golden beads because each row i increase with one column so finish it with nine more golden columns because here you already have two so when you add nine you will have 11 in total and i'll meet you here at this point okay guys and the same way i continued adding 
columns of golden beads and now I have 11 columns of golden beads and at the last thread bridge I added two columns of golden beads and now I will continue with decreasing brick stitch so I will repeat what I have here but the other way around. So I start again with two goldens and two red beads and as I'm exiting here from this last golden bead I will go this time under the second thread bridge not under the first as I've been going until now but under the second one. Then what I want to do is go through these two red beads that are closer to the center of my work. And then I will do additional step that I wasn't doing when I was increasing and it is to reinforce my beads because you see how they don't sit nice and tight next to each other. This is because they stretch as they go under the second thread bridge and in order to stay in a better shape you should go one more time around them and reinforce it. Then I take two red beads again, go under the next thread bridge and go through these two red beads. Again two red beads, next thread bridge, backwards like this. Okay. And this row will be absolutely the same as this one. So I will continue until I have in total golden, eight red columns and one golden column, the same as here. And I'll be back and meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I have one golden and eight red columns. And now it's time to add my last two golden beads from this row. And I add them like this and then I go backwards through the same two beads, just like that. Then in my next step, guys, I'm taking again two goldens and two reds and because here I will be decreasing, I'm going under the second thread bridge that I have. Then through the two beads that are closer to the center of my work, And now it's time to reinforce. I wasn't doing this reinforcement when I was increasing, but now because my beads go through the second thread bridge and stretch, I should do this reinforcement as I mentioned before. Okay, so in this row you should have a golden column, seven red columns and a golden column. I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys and here I am at my last two golden beads from this row and I'm going under the last thread bridge and then I go back through these two goldens like this. Okay and you see at this point your work will start bending which is a wanted effect if you want to make a ribbon okay and I take two goldens and two reds and I go under the second thread bridge I do absolutely the same thing as before Okay, and here I had seven red beads in the middle and two golden columns around. Here I will have six, then five, then four, then three in the center surrounded by goldens. And when I reach the row with one golden, three red and one golden columns, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, my friends, and as I continue beading here, I have a row with one golden column, three red columns and one golden column. And now I'm going to take four goldens because here I will have a row only with golden beads. And as I'm exiting from here, 
I'm doing the same thing, I decrease, so I go under the second thread bridge. Then I go through the two beads that are closer to the center of my work. And I go through these two and backwards to reinforce it. A column of golden beads. And another column of golden beads. Okay, and then uh, you see now it's time to make my work look like a part of a ribbon. So when I close it like this, this is what I have. And now I'm going to attach this part to this part. So I'm exiting out of this golden bead and I will zigzag through my beads to connect them. Okay, now they are connected. Now I will put a needle on this short end and I will make a knot and cut it. Okay, and here at this short end I put a needle. And what I do next is that I want to go through some beads in this direction. I'm making here a loop. going once or twice through the loop I've made, pulling. Then I go through some beads in this direction and I cut this tail thread. Now guys, I'm going to make absolutely the same element like this one and I will connect it like this. So, how I do this? The same way I showed you by zigzagging. So, I'm exiting through this bead in this direction, then I'm zigzagging through it. I take my ribbon, the other part of my ribbon, and I'm going in these beads. like this, then in the next two and here in the following. Here maybe you will need to use your pliers. Then like this. And here, like this. Now I will go through this side and connect them absolutely the same way, like I showed you by zigzagging through them and I'll meet you. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm connecting my last four beads from this row. And I'm taking 311, 180 and 311. And as I'm exiting here, I go back in circle in the previous part of my ribbon. And I want to go through these four central beads. Now I went through three and this is the fourth one that I'm going through. Then what I want to do is reach this, here these three beads again and go through them. Mm 
then backwards like this and through these three beads okay and probably you can't go anymore through the central four beads that is why I will directly go in this direction and I will make a knot and cut my thread make here a loop go twice through the loop I've made, pull go through some beads in this direction and cut this tail thread okay guys and at this last step I'm taking my jump ring I'm opening this one up and what I want to do is to go through this HO then I'm taking my earring finding and I'm going to close my jump ring in the same way I open it okay now this is what I have here okay guys so my 3d ribbon christmas earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe also hit the bell button if you still haven't and if you like share and comment you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it check description for a facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials and you might want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button thank you so much for staying here with me until the end now click on the christmas playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching